scientists in Madison are working on an effective treatment for the coronavirus. But first, they say they have to understand how a virus operates. Those scientists, in collaboration with scientists across the globe, are focusing specifically on the coronavirus, how it infects people, and how to stop it. Scientists in this UW-Madison lab are working long hours to understand a deadly virus now on the verge of a pandemic. To be able to contribute in our small way here in the research community has been really rewarding. Chelsea Crooks is a graduate student in the UW-Madison AIDS Vaccine Research Lab. In recent years, the lab has grown beyond AIDS research to include a number of outbreaks. A West African Ebola doing a lot of work with Zika virus and now working with this novel coronavirus. Dave O'Connor helps run the lab, which studies how viruses affect monkeys, which have similar immune systems to humans. When you infect animals, you can ask questions in a more controlled environment. You know exactly when an animal has been infected, you know what sort of virus they were infected with, you know how much virus they received. In addition to learning how the virus attacks, the lab can also study the best ways to stop it. The other thing we can do is we can test vaccines, see if they engender good immune responses, and then um, use that information to figure out which vaccines should be moved into clinical trials. O'Connor says the information his lab can get from this research is crucial to taking control of the outbreak. He says it's too late to stop it, but not too late to slow it down. You'd rather get the uh, virus six months from now when we'll have a better understanding of what sort of drugs, what sort of supportive treatments might be available to help you than if, we, if you get it next week. Answers his lab is committed to finding. We've all been pretty excited to contribute to this response and to help, to help both our community here and help the global community better understand this virus. As the lab works, data is shared with other labs around the world in real time. And O'Connor says it's a system they pioneered during the Zika outbreak, but it's also much faster than waiting for papers to be published.